Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In the last video I made some non-distinct coniferous trees. Let's get a little bit more specific today and build a spruce. Well I'm very sorry dear viewers but I don't have any footage from the making of the trunks. Uh, you see me spray painting them here. But I will tell you anyway how I made them. They are made out of wooden rods. I bought different sizes, different thicknesses, and I cut them to size. Between 20 and 25 centimeters, they're not all exactly the same. I then tapered those rods to the end, so they're thicker at the bottom and narrower at the top. I then covered the rods with a modeling paste. That's the white stuff you see. I did this with a very stiff brush, so they leave sort of brush marks, which is a sort of nice texture for the bark of the trunk. You can see it very well in this picture. It's just painted once. It needs a bit more paint, but you get the idea. Now then, branches. I use steel wire with a thickness of 0.4 mm. I cut them to length to about 20 cm long. I then start making loops. Three loops per wire. I give them seven twists each time. In my experience this is necessary because otherwise they can fall apart. Like I said before, I make three loops plus a loose wire. This makes for seven branches. Let me show you by cutting the loops and bending the wire. Now there you go, that's seven side branches on one branch. That's a hell of a branch. As you see, they sometimes dangle a bit. I don't like that, and for that reason I treat them with super glue. So I treat all the twisted parts with super glue. So let's crack on with it. I want to make 50, so 49 to go. So now let's cover our branches with static grass. First I'm applying glue, which is matte medium, and then I just sprinkle over 12 mm static grass. Not too much, not too little, just enough. And we leave the static grass applicator in the box, we don't need it. I've made about 50 pieces of them. Now let's paint them. Now let's apply some green over it to mimic needles. For this I'm using a mixture of fine turf by Woodland Scenics and 2mm static grass fibers. I spray the twigs with Scenic cement and apply the mixture. Here you see the result. This is a finished branch ready to go on the tree. Now for this step I went over to our vegetable garden and dig up some raspberry bushes. Raspberry bushes? Yes. The roots are very fine material to make branches from. So I selected the best pieces, cut them off, Wash them off, let them dry, and now they're ready to go. That's enough for a proper scale jungle. Mm -hmm. 